I think everybody wants to connect with somebody else, right? That's kind of what we do as human beings. And when you can connect with somebody and feel like you've made a change in their life, that, that's, that's what it's all about. Most people who live in Brooklyn have never ever looked through a telescope before. So I've been doing the sidewalk astronomy for about 20, maybe 25 years. To me, astronomy is showing people on the street what's up there. And then you see the smile on their face, and you've done your job. There was this big event in Prospect Park, and I was out there with my telescope in the middle of the street. And so, you know, I think everybody knows that there was a young lady who took a, a video of that, the long line going out into the middle of 8th Avenue, and she put it on TikTok, and it got 5, 10, 20, 30 million views, and all of a sudden it was like a celebrity, sort of. Oh, that, that's a... Uh... A satellite. Oh. Space, that's the space station. Oh, really? That is the boat. Yeah, that's the space station. Wow. Gotta be. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Well, I've been interested in astronomy for years and years and years. I was traveling to Washington with a friend who worked at the Naval Observatory. He said, Joe, why don't you go get yourself a telescope? I said, well, what do I buy? And he wrote a name on a piece of paper. And at the end of the trip, it came right back to Brooklyn. I went to a store and bought it. And ever since then, I've been putting that telescope, aiming it up in the sky, and showing people. We saw these folks lined up for a telescope, and it reminded me of some times in college where we would borrow telescopes from the physics department, set them up on the lawn, and look at various celestial bodies. There are people all over the country that have telescopes. And I know some of them do sidewalk astronomy, but a very, very small percentage. Maybe, they, maybe those people like to watch TV at night, or maybe they go out and eat a lot, or maybe they hang out in bars. That's, that's great. But you would think that they would get a lot of satisfaction if once in a while they would take that telescope and go out to a street corner near where they live and say, T come take a look. It could be a national thing. It could, could, be, could be something that it isn't now. I see, whoa! <laughs> the rings! Yeah. <gasps> Beautiful. One of the things that's really important when you're stargazing and showing the planets to people is not to get in their face, not to talk too much. Just let them look and pe keep quiet. Oh my God. Let them commune with the heavens, if you will. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, high five. <laughs> Generally, when I go out, I stand on the sidewalk. But it just so happens that Saturn is down the end of 9th Street, and there's a lot of tall trees on 9th Street. And the, the thing that was in the Tech Duck video, as a matter of fact, uh, in order to see it, I had to move my telescope into the middle of the street. And cars are going by. Luckily, it's only one lane of traffic in each direction. And there's a median strip where cars aren't supposed to go. And that's where I set up the telescope. And then you have, it's an unobstructed view. And it's a little dangerous, but not something that I really worry about because most cars slow way, way, way down. And it's pretty safe, I think. Yeah, park that bus. Park the bus. There's a bus that goes up 9th Street towards Prospect Park West every night at around 7.30, maybe quarter of eight. She opens her window, I say, you guys looking at Saturn again? And I say, yeah, 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 come on, park your bus. Ask the people on the bus if they want to see Saturn. I'll bet you they all say yes. There's a bus out here. Oh my God, it's a bus parking. Huh? Oh my God, it's a bus parking, you come see. But she never does it, afraid we're gonna lose her job or something. But it would, wouldn't that be fantastic? Bus stops on 9th Street to show all the passengers Saturn. That would be incredible. She was like, oh my god, I think it's the telescope guy. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And she was like, there was this TikTok about this guy. Big viral moment, the telescope guy. And so we pulled over, we were like, we have to see it. I was honestly like, this is such a good date idea. I need to be on his mailing list. 
Take care. Are you on my mailing list? Uh, There's just one continuous thing yeah. at Gmail. Okay, yeah. okay, good. And then you're Francesca? I'm not. I'm Oh, your friend is Francesca. Yeah, Francesca. Uh, Mirabella. Yeah, it's the next one. Yeah, Mirabella. That's a Mirabella, huh? So every time I go out with this telescope and somebody looks like they're really, really excited, boy, when is, when is the next time you're going to do this? I say, well, would you like to be on my email list? You can't send them an email saying I'm going out tonight and then it turns out that's cloudy and you don't go. Once you send that email, you got to go. So right now I've got about 200 people, I'd say. Not every 200 people come. A lot of them have seen this stuff already. But usually enough people come to make it worth sending that email. I'll just eat a little bit because then we need to get going. Bon appetito or something like that. When I finish my dinner, we're going to pack up my telescope and the tripod and we're going to put it on a little carrier and we're going to walk around the block from 7th Street to 9th Street. And we're going to set up the telescope and we are going to cross our fingers and pray that people are curious and want to come look. Now, this is one of the most important things I have to do. You're going to want to edit it out, but I have to hike up my pants because they're falling down. <laughs> when you do astronomy, you have to be patient. That's one of the first lessons, right? I'm trying to find Saturn. And I know about where it is because we've been looking at it for the last two months. Where the hell is it? No luck? No, not yet, no. It's got to be visible now. Maybe my, maybe my telescope's not focused. We got it. Let me just focus it. A lot of people, when they see, especially Saturn, because it's very small, my telescope isn't all that powerful, but you can definitely see the rings. And when you look at it, it kind of looks like an icon. It's, it's funny because it's so little. And they say, you know, that's not real, is it? That's just a picture. I said, no, that is real. There's nothing between that planet and your eyeball except a little mirror inside the telescope. And when they do that for the first time, they're just blown away. That is the coolest thing ever. If that's all it takes to make somebody really happy, wow. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do this all the time? Connect with people and, and leave them going home and feeling, wow, this is great. What a great life we've got.